Hi everyone and welcome to today's journal hospital recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. Happy Friday! So there's something I want you to keep in mind over the weekend. Who do you think was this week's character of the week? We're bringing it back! I'll announce the winner on Monday. Uh, and let's get to today's journal hospital recap. At the floating rib, Hayden meets with Curtis. He found the missing bullet! Yes! Uh, he took his rental SUV for repairs at the garage and he looked around and found the bullet because he's amazing. Uh, he tells her he can get the gun and, you know, have ballistics run. Uh, but economically, he's going to need to be compensated. And she says, do what you need to do. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. At the Metro Court, a restaurant, I'm going to start making it more specific like that since a lot happens at the Metro Court. Uh, Morgan and Carly are having breakfast together. Uh, he seems like he's doing better. Kiki's a waitress there now. Uh, she seems to have her life together. And Ava is a customer. So... You know, there's ups, there's downs. What are you going to do? Uh, Kiki treats her like a stranger. Uh, Kiki calls her out on using Avery as a weapon against Carly, and she goes on to do this about four more times before she leaves the Metro Court, by the way. Uh, Carly talks to Morgan a little more about bipolar disorder and the advances they've made in recent years, and he says he's taking his medicine, but he's not sure he likes how it makes him feel. So Morgan asks for a little slack and trust. Uh, Kiki yells at Ava for her to leave her alone, and Carly steps in. Uh, Carly kicks her out for harassing an employee, and Ava threatens family court, and Kiki's like, you know what? Let me handle this, because the sooner I just deal with this, the sooner she'll stop. Ava wants her back. Uh, Kiki says it's never going to happen. And Ava has the nerve to tell Kiki, you break my heart. Really, Ava? Do you even have one? <laughs> Throwing shade. Um, uh, Kiki says Ava is supposed to protect her from people like her. And she also says, I'm fine and I'm no longer your problem. Uh, Carly tries to kick Ava out again and she brings up family court again. Uh, Morgan steps in. She threatens to withhold Avery, but finally she leaves. Uh, Carly's sympathetic towards Kiki, and then Kiki and Morgan talk, and it's actually really nice, and I think right now they could be good for each other in a friend way. At Julexis's house, that's what we're calling it, uh, Sam and Danny snuck in the house last night. Well, it was probably more Sam. <laughs> and she tells him uh, that her and Patrick broke up last night, and that she told Jason Elizabeth knew the truth about who he was a long time ago. Uh, Julian's like, what does anything Liz did have to do with you and Patrick? And Sam says, like, it has a lot because, you know, Patrick kind of, like, brought me back to reality to the fact that if Jason remembered everything, she would probably go back to him, or at least a part of her would really want to. And, uh... Like, that's not fair to Patrick. And Sam wants Jason to make his own choices about his life, regardless of where she fits into it, which I think is the key difference between she and Elizabeth. Uh, Sam asks if she and Danny can have Christmas at their house, and then Sam goes to see if Danny's awake. Julian tells Alexis he is not okay with Sam being back with Jason, or potentially being back with Jason because he's so dangerous. And I was like, dude... You've been here for, like, two years Like that Jason hasn't been here. Like, you really are in no place to tell her what to do with her life. Um, at Elizabeth's place... Oh, the tag. Whatever. Um, at Elizabeth's place, uh, Nicholas shows up. Uh, she tells him Jason's gone. And then she tells him how Sam told him she knew the truth long before Carly said anything. And she confessed. Uh, Nick asks what happened. And she says, you know, what Laura predicted would happen and fills him in on everything. So then she says she's lost everything and it's her fault and she's dragging Nicholas down with her. Come on. <laughs> Nicholas says maybe Jason won't abandon her and Jake, although I would hardly call it abandonment, you know? <laughs> if he leaves her and Jake, it would not be abandonment. Um, and Nick also tells her she doesn't owe anyone any explanations. And she warns him to be careful because Jason's going to be coming for him. At the boxing place, Jason shows up and talks to Sonny. Yay! Uh, he, Jason wants to be there and... Uh, Sunny finishes up punching the punching bag because, you know, this is how we punch apparently in my house. Um, Jason free punches the bag without taping his hands and Sonny's like, ugh, like, what's going on? Um, and he tells Sonny Liz knew he was Jason for months, uh, specifically May. 
Uh, he admits Carly was right about Liz manipulating him, and he was driving on his bike and seeing the faces of all his loved ones that Liz let grieve for months and would have kept it up forever if she hadn't gotten caught. And it bothers him that that's who he fell in love with. Uh, Sonny tells him how he and Carly have lied to each other in the past, but they always found their way back to each other. And he says, you know, he'd rather accept what she did then live without her and jason asks if that's what he thinks sh he should do with elizabeth and sonny's like well i can't i can never tell you what to do um especially i'm kind of a biased party in this since elizabeth let me grieve for you for seven months um but jason asks him for his honest opinion and sonny says liz wanted him for herself and didn't care who suffered because of that so uh no uh carly walks in jason tells her she was right and she knows him better than he knows himself and he leaves and carly's like what like where'd this come from <laughs> and now end scene uh nicholas walks into the floating rib and sees hayden and curtis talking money no bueno and uh sunny tells carly liz has known who jason was for months He's expecting a different reaction from Carly, but Carly's just relieved because this will put a stop to their relationship. And, you know, Sonny says Jason can probably forgive Elizabeth for what she did to him, but not for what she did to Sam and Danny. And uh, Carly believes Jason is coming back to them because he stayed and talked with Sonny. And then he asks about she and Morgan's breakfast. And she's like, I think overall it went well. He said I was hovering, but I kind of was. Uh, Morgan shows Kiki his meds. So they talk and Kiki says it's better if they stay friends. He agrees. Darby calls Morgan. He goes to see her and he forgot to take his medicine. Oh... Oh, next week. Um, Alexis says she's worried about her getting back with Jason, too. And Sam tells her that she and Jason are just friends. And if she wants, she just wants Jason to be able to trust her. Bottom line. Um, Jason is back at Elizabeth's. Why? I don't know. Uh, but he gets a call from Sam. Will he pick up the phone or will he go back to Elizabeth? I don't know. It's it's Friday. We won't know till Monday. Friday comes so fast these days anymore. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. Real fast, if I could just keep your attention. I have a link down in the description to our Save Our Sanctuary You Caring campaign. If you could please check it out and even donate a dollar, it would mean so, so much. But if you can't donate, if you could share, it would also mean a lot. Um, oh, I have to update the link because then we could win something. But I'll do that next week. Um, but in any event, I will see you next week for more general hospital and i hope you have a great day bye